Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Championship Predictions. You know, a few results going against the odds um, the previous weekend just gone. Um, but guys, you know what to do. You know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to kick off with is Cardiff versus Fulham. Cardiff drawing 0-0 with Blackburn at Blackburn Rovers this round. If you're a Cardiff City fan, that's probably a bit expected. I think Cardiff have been a low, below par this season. Um, for them losing 2-1 to Notch Forest at home. Nottingham Forest are an unpredictable team this season, I personally do think. I think that where you go to Notch Forest, you're expected to win, but they can uh, beat teams. Well, you're going to not for us, expected to lose, and not for us to lose themselves. It really is an unpredictable team this season for uh, whoever comes up against Nottingham Forest. Uh, you know, it makes it harder to predict as well because of how well they're doing at the minute, but how poor they have been doing um, prior to this world stage. But for this game, I've gone for a 3 0 Fulham win. My next one is Bristol City versus Middlesbrough. Bristol City 3-2, uh, 3-1 winners, sorry, over Hull City. Middlesbrough 1-0 against Millwall at home. Um, let's go talk about Bristol City result for a bit because they're away from home. 3-1 winners away from home, that's a really good three points up at Hull. Um, what I'm expecting of Bristol City this season, I wouldn't expect nothing less anyway, but still a good three points away from home, same with any club. Um, Middlesbrough, one all at home, I find that a bit disappointing, no disrespect to Millwall. Um, I just expect Middlesbrough to turn up the heat a bit when they're at home. But for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 Bristol City win. My next one is Burnham City versus Stoke. Burnham City losing 3 0 at Swansea. Stoke losing 3 0 at home to Leagues. Stoke are, you know, at the minute really poor. I really don't think that Stoke would be down there where they are. Uh, so I can't blame it all on. As we say, the manager, because the players do play the football. Um, you know, I'm really happy you got to see what the problem is down there. But, you know, are Stoke really going down? Unless they start picking up the points, I can actually start to see it now. Um, Birmingham, on the other hand, 3-0 losers at home to Swan uh, away to Swansea. Probably more of a you know, a predicted result to happen because how low Birmingham have been in recent uh, times. So for this one, I've gone for a 2-1 Birmingham City win. My next one is Bradford versus Derby. Derby will run all um, at home to West Brom. Brentford losing 1-0 to Charlton Athletic away from home. That Derby result, as I've said, since Frank's left, it's been a bit of an up and down the season. Probably was expected Derby to get three points, if I'm all honest. It's one of them things where you go, you know, we're at home. West Brom, they ain't the best team in the championship, no disrespect to West Brom. You know, but they're one of them teams where they're in the championship season in, season out after being relegated from the Premier League and seem to be struggling to get back out of the Championship. But where do you go if you're a Derby fan, you know, were you happy with the point or did, did you think you deserve all three? Um, Bradford, I've just said, lost 1-0 at Charlton. Probably expected a result. But for this one, I've gone for the same scoreline as Derby and West Brom and that is a one all scoreline. My next one is Leagues United versus Swansea. Leagues beating Stoke 3-0 away from home. 
Swansea beating Birmingham 3 0 at home. You know, both results are probably expected. I spoke about both results sort of already, so I'm just going to give you the result. The top two going head to head this weekend, and I've gone for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Luton Town versus Huddersfield. Luton Town 3 1 winners at Barnsley. Um, Huddersfield losing 2 0 at home to Reading. Huddersfield have really dropped below par this season. You can't, um, you know, say they didn't have the opportunities to score or whatever, but they let their manager go. I think they really are on a down of the season. Um, Huddersfield, unless they start turning it around quick, because as you all know, games in this division come thick and fast. So, um, but let's go and talk about that 3 1 Luton result for a bit. 3 1 Luton away from home at Barnsley, and Barnsley are, you know, are, are, are doing well in the championship this season ever since coming back up. But for this one, I've gone for a 3-0 Luton win. My next one is Millwall versus Hull City. Millwall won 1-0 at Middlesbrough. Hull City losing at home 3-1 to Bristol City. Um, Millwall pick up a point at Middlesbrough. Can't be a bad point, can it? Um, Hull City on the other end. Losing three points at home, that's not, uh, you know, great if I'm all honest. But I'm just going to give you the result for this one. I've gone for a 2-1 Millwall win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Preston North End. Preston North End, 2-1 winner, winners at home against Sheffield Wednesday. Nottingham Forest beating for them away from home, 2-1. Spoke about Notch Forest, but I spoke about the final result. Preston North End, 2 1 winners at home. Let's move on. I think that's a great three points for uh, Preston anyway. So I've gone for a 2 1 Nottingham Forest win for that one. My next one is Reading versus Charlton. Reading beating Huddersfield 2 0 at Huddersfield. Spoke about that result. I spoke speak about that again in a minute. Charlton 1-0 winners at home to Brentford. Um, Charlton great three points. I won't expect nothing less. So, you know, let's move on. Um, Reading 2-0 winners up at Huddersfield. You know, I think a lot of teams redress them back on the Huddersfield point of view. Unless Huddersfield up their game a lot. Um, a lot of people are expect to turn up to Huddersfield that you get the three points. Um, but Reading, three points up at Huddersfield, great three points for Reading. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-0 Cheltenham, Cheltenham win. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus QPR. QPR, 3-1 winners at home against Wigan. Sheffield Wednesday, yeah, as I've just spoke about with Preston, um, you know, it's they lost 2 1 at Preston, probably a bit, a bit expected. Um, QPR 3 1 winners at home against Wigan, probably expected as well. But I've gone for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Blackburn. West Bromwich Albion 1 0 at Derby County, probably expected. Blackburn, 0-0 at home to Cardiff. Probably expected Blackburn to win that one. But I've gone for a 2-0 West Brom win. My last one for this weekend is Wigan Athletic versus Barnsley. I just spoke about Wigan uh, losing 3-1 um, losing 3-1 against QPR at QPR. Probably expected. Barnsley spoke about them a bit earlier on. 3 1 at home, losing to Luton Town. Probably a bit less unexpected, if I'm all honest, but I'm going to be around the bush. Just going to give you the scoreline. I've gone for a 1 all scoreline for that one. 
But guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do with this video. Big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.